<laughs> going back to me saying, you good? Uh, you spilled a little? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> going back to uh, how I say I'm, I am busy right now. Uh, I think it's because I think one of my conversations that come up is I will value your worth as much as you value your worth. So how are you judging how they value their worth? By how much you're trying to include yourself. Your worth to me. Okay. That's, yeah, that's All right. right. Uh, okay. okay. Should have iterated that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm valuing your worth to me off of how you value your worth to me. Yeah. So if you're saying like, hey, whenever you get free or anything like that, cool. You just hit me up. Whenever you get time, you do it. I'm like, okay, well, you going to find something else. Or you don't think you're important. Okay, I'm going to keep it moving. But when I come across somebody that's like, hey, I get it. You're busy. But like, while you're doing this, why don't you try and invite me over? That'll swing me a whole fucking different way. I'm like, sure, I'm but on my phone and make a call. As somebody that understands that and will still make the effort to let you know, yo, you're not making the effort. <laughs> I mean, it's not you trying to put that work on them, but it's still like, okay, I get it. I should be doing this mm-hmm. if I want you around more. It's different. You know what I'm saying? It's a different. As far as I'm concerned, it's based yeah. around your core values. Like, how, do, how far do you, how important is it? for you to be a part of somebody else's life that you care about, in a sense. Like, if you feel like th- this person is somebody that you you vibe well with and you, you feel interested in, and you don't feel like they're making time, is that important to you? Is that time that you want with, the, with that person important? I feel like you're talking about my next album. Yeah, this is rehab, man. We keep talking about love, man. I'm, I'm getting emotional. Man. You're the one that brought up fucking relationships. I almost cried just now, man. Nigga. <laughs> I didn't almost cry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, I just feel like relationships are good for you and your growth forever. It doesn't mean that every relationship is for Oh, so every one night stand is beneficial to my growth. That's what I got out of that. All right, so you're talking about like those you said relationships. relationships. So physical relationships with the opposite you, sex or whatever people like. Oh, we're specifying. When you say about, relationships, I mean interactions with the opposite you're ta- sex. Oh, so you're talking about romantic relationships. Define romantic relationship. If I throw roses on the bed and still fuck you for one night only, isn't that a romantic relationship? Wow. It is because it's about sex at some point. Okay, so romantic relationship. Right, so we're talking about relationships that could potentially... But if you're my wife, it's a romantic relationship too, right? Yeah. So I'm what's the difference like between friends. a one-night stand and a wife? Um, commitment? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong! <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy... <laughs> yeah. A one-night stand... We're talking relationships. Right. I put it in the box. How, often, <laughs> all right, how, how often do people do one night stands now? Is that even wait? Is that a COVID day? question or is that like a twenty twenty question? We don't know. Whatever COVID leads to, it could be forever. Right now, if you ask me based off twenty nineteen, wait, we're talking my personal experience. You want to talk about it? You want to talk about No, um. I would say a one night stand would happen more for me than a committed relationship, but I will also say that an extended one night stand would happen more than a one time one night stand. And by that says, by that I mean, a long term fuck buddy is so more common. So it's not than a, a one night stand, but it's not a committed relationship. It's because I might fuck your friend. It's an understanding. Ooh. What? It's an understanding then. It's not a one night relationship. And like one night stand is to me is one night stand is a one night stand. Y'all don't understand each other? Extended one night stand? I don't know what that is. It's not one night no more. It's a two night stand. But it's gonna be more than Or two it might be like a twenty four hour night stand. Mm-hmm. You know, one night stand you usually fuck for six hours. A extended one night stand would be twenty four hours. But you You made her breakfast, you made her lunch, but you were still fucking her in between meals. I mean, <laughs> if that's what you <laughs> I wasn't going that deep in like, You asked what an extended one night stand was like it's either answer. it's one night or it's a relationship that you gotta cater to in a certain way. 
So if it's not just a one night stand, it's a relationship. Even if it's not really it's a committed a relationship, it's a form of relationship. That's that book. A one night stand is a form of relationship. It just lasts for one night. That's not a relationship. That's relations. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. I ain't have relations with a lot of you bitches, all right? <laughs> just throw that out there, all right? Don't get happy. But no. <laughs> I guess, but it's. I couldn't call it that. I couldn't call it that either or. Like, I would say uh, a long term one night stand or like a. Uh, uh, consistent long-term fuck buddy would be more of a relation when you say relationship to me that is the commitment that is a commitment process that's i mean that's what, how you did i don't define a relationship is it's different types of relationships that you had so what what would you textbook define uh, the difference between a text or uh, a relationship and a relationship a uh, relation and a relationship a relation is just like you probably went there physically you can have a relationship with somebody you never have sex with. You can have a relationship with somebody you have sex with multiple times. But you can have relations with somebody you never had sex with. <laughs> what? No. Yes. You can't. You don't have a relation with your... Would you call... Would your, if you have a female best friend, would that be a relation or a relationship? That's a relationship. I would disagree. But that's the way I determine... I, I put more value in a relationship than relation. So it's different. If you're my best friend and that's a I female, relate to you. I mean, that's how you use it. I just... What? No, that's like, <laughs> I don't use it that way. Relations to me is like, that's physical. If you say I, I'm having relations with somebody... No, that's, that's love language. Physical touch. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not just physical touch or are you talking about... What are you talking about? It's what? different thing. <laughs> It's different things is what I'm saying. I'm saying relations to me is physical. I get it. You're saying if it's only sex is a relation. Any, it's a lot you can do in a relationship. Yeah, I, I, I've always held relationship to like that's the commitment. I'm not going to say okay, I'm in a relationship right. with that woman. If I'm just, if we go well, out on dates. In a relationship is different. Saying we have a relationship and we in a relationship is different. In a relationship is like a committed relationship. When do you say I have a relationship with her as opposed to I'm in a relationship with we her? We have a great relationship. Ah, uh, okay, I see. See what I'm saying? Oh, play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking play it. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> All right, enough of that. I, I don't know enough when I... relationships. No, no, nah, this is your shit. And no, I'm still in my I'm bag right now. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out when I would ever describe somebody as like, I have a... Rel- Nigga, Corona? Uh, no. Nah. Are you good? I'm good. You sure? I'm positive. Are right, he cuffed? I just cleared my. You just hurt? Right. You have. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let you live. It's never a time where I would say I've had relations with her. Okay. Would you ever say that? Use those words? No. That's like some. So what would you say instead? Yeah. I fucked. <laughs> I fuck. <laughs> no, you can say like yo. I you talk- said relations is physical I interactions. Say, like I talked to her or I messed with her. Or I came across her. You know, that's what I would say. All right, <laughs> you're trying to be politically correct. <laughs> Seriously, like, I see what you're doing that's right how now. I would, that's how I would say it. I smashed. That's I, the word you look. I for. would never use the word smashed, yo. I mm. never said to my man, yo, I smashed. I never said that. Case if I ever said that. I don't say that word. I never say that word. So what do you say instead of? I have relations? Nah. If somebody asked me something, I'd be like, yo. Ask her? She's real chill. (laughs) (laughs) This is why I hate niggas. (laughs) This is why I hate niggas. Because what you said is, I don't know if she's your friend or if you fucking her. You shouldn't know. (laughs) (laughs) Fair enough. 